When you think about renewable energy, what comes to mind? Wind, solar. Uh, wind power. Wind energy, solar energy. Solar panels, wind farms. How about hydroelectric? Hydro yeah, I would say yes. Burning wood? No. <laughs> I think technically it's a renewable energy. Burning trash? No. I feel like it's a trick. Hmm. Depending on the state, any of the above. Let's say these marbles represent different forms of energy. Most states set targets for how much power will come from renewables by a certain year. A big part of that is defining what can be included. But it's not as simple as these stock photos might imply. See, there's this area right here where it gets a little murky. So what gives? I mean, sure, there's the obvious definition, something that renews. But when it comes to policy, it gets a little trickier. Colorado counts burning methane from abandoned coal mines. Maryland counts burning trash. Meanwhile, California doesn't count either of those. They also don't count large hydroelectric dams, which are a major source of electricity for the state. If all the states defined renewable energy like California, the amount of renewable energy we say we have in the US today would be roughly cut in half. So if we're talking about energy sources that minimize environmental damage, what should we include and what should we call them? Here's one idea. States could aim for energy sources that naturally renew within a human lifetime. This could include solar, wind, and hydropower. They also could include burning plants and organic matter. But some of those energy sources come with consequences. Damaging ecosystems or contributing to local air pollution. So, option two. What about using alternative terms like clean energy? Well, that comes with its own problems. Clean, like renewable, is kind of in the eye of the beholder. For example, Indiana has targets for clean energy, including efficient coal plants. That definition could help out a dirty industry and, from a climate perspective, be a step in the wrong direction. Terms like carbon-free energy are easier to define, but they also include more controversial energy sources like nuclear. Big picture, our energy system is a lot more complicated than just good or bad. And this matters because it'll have a real impact on the way we transition away from fossil fuels. A state that sets an ambitious energy target might opt for a shakier definition to help it meet those goals. And a state that instead goes for purity, just wind and solar, might miss out on real opportunities to decrease its dependence on fossil fuels. Greener forms of energy are key to fighting climate change, but the country still has a long way to go before its grid is truly renewable. And figuring out what we want that to mean is an important first step. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about this issue, my colleague Greta Yoakum has a story out about what the definition of renewable energy means for a community in Baltimore. Uh, check it out.